Hey y'all and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I am making for y'all a real treat, a real Philadelphia cream treat. I'm making for y'all stuff puppies. It's my own little invention. I am so happy to share this with you guys. Right now I have two jalapenos and a large diced yellow onion in here cooking down. It's drying out a little bit, which is perfect for the middle of our uh, stuffed puppies. And I like that it's getting a little caramel to it, a little caramel color. It just smells fabulous. This is one cup of frozen corn that's been thawed and drained. And I'm going to stir that on in there. See how that brings some more moisture to the mix? And with that moisture, I'm going to add... Uh, my cream cheese. Eight ounces of Philadelphia cream cheese. Well, whenever I add that all together and I let it cool, I'm going to want it to be able to form balls to go in the middle of my hush puppies, making them stuffed puppies. So here goes. Eight ounces of cream cheese softened. And I'm going to heat that up and blend that all together. Back here, I already have my oil heating up. I'm going to show y'all how I make my Philadelphia creamy balls when you come back. That's going to be stuffed in the middle of them stuffed puppies. And uh, I'm going to show you my batter. And we'll get this show on the road, y'all. Hey, y'all, and welcome back. I want to show y'all how to make my batter for my stuffed puppies. I've got one and a half cups of yellow cornmeal right here and to that I am going to add half a cup of all-purpose flour. We're going to stir that up and then to that I'm going to add, let's do two teaspoons of cornstarch, no sorry, two teaspoons of baking powder. Um, I'm gearing up to go to Seguin to uh, the Texas Lady State Championship for a chili cook-off this weekend and I use cornstarch in my chili but not in my stuffed puppies. So I keep whisking that up. Half a teaspoon of salt that goes in there and my dry ingredients are all blended. Then I come right over here to this egg and I'm going to give that a little with just real quick with my fork. I put it in a little cup. Make sure it was a good egg, y'all. No shells, no extras. It's all right. So I'm putting this in with my buttermilk just like that. And I'm going to whisk that together. That's three quarters of a cup of buttermilk, one egg. And once I get that whisked together, Oh, yeah, it's coming. Then I'm going to add it to my dry ingredients. I like, that's just how I roll. I do my wet and my dry separate. And then in it goes. Just like that. My oil teed up. My chicken's already done, so I better hurry it up. I got hungry kids to be a hungry family. Thank goodness this side dish doesn't take no time. It looks really fancy. It looks really time consuming, but it's not. The jalapenos and the onions and the cream cheese and the corn is right over there cooling down so I can form it into balls. And once I form that into balls, then I am able to uh, put it in this batter that I'm making. Oh, one crucial ingredient, Cajun seasoning. I like Cajun seasoning in here. It's, it, this is a savory hush puppy. This is not, let's see, that's about a teaspoon right there. I'm going to put that on in there and keep whisking. This is a savory hush puppy. It's not a sweet hush puppy. This is a hush puppy that would be great for, uh, well, if you like a little kick, if you like a little spice. So I'm seasoning, oop, I'm seasoning up my hush puppies with a little, um, with a little, Cajun seasoning. And I've got probably five different brands in my cupboard over here. And I use them all. It's just up to your taste. Try them out. See what you like best. Okay, I can dap that off. I'm going to get this off. I'm going to grab a platter. And I'm going to show you how to form the balls, okay? I'll see you in a minute. 
Now I've got my batter all together. It's ready to form balls. And over here with my cream cheese and corn jalapenos and, and uh, onions, I'm going to add just a sprinkle of salt and stir it just to make sure that it's all cooled off. If you want to add a kick to this, you can add some Texas peach or some Tabasco or some Louisiana hot sauce and you can kick this up a little bit more and add a little spice. I'm serving this with uh, grilled barbecue chicken like my daddy does it with pig stand basting sauce. So I'm serving that tonight with this. So I'm going to keep it on the lo down low and I'm not going to add the hot sauce. You can also make this dish sweet. Instead of that Tony Sashri's, I'm just making a little patty and a little divot. Instead of that Tony Sashri's, you can add sugar. You can add uh, bell pepper instead of the jalapeno. You can add a little bit of cheddar cheese in the middle of this. There's one ball, and I'm going to put that to the side, and I'm going to keep making them. These stuffed puppies are going to be excellent. Eh? I'm going to put about, oh, eight to ten of them in the deep fryer at a time. And once they're done, they are going to be scrumptious, and I'll show you what they look like in just a minute. Look what I done fried up for all you fine folks out there, all you Philadelphia cream cheese loving people. Aren't they fabulous? My stuffed puppies look beautiful and in no time at all, too. They're really quick, really easy, and let's give them a taste and see if it was all worth it. Mmm. That's what hush puppies have always needed. A little cream cheese. It brings in the moisture. It's just a moist, delicious hush puppy. I'm going to dabble a little hot sauce on mine. Give it a little more of a kick. Thank y'all for visiting me. Thank y'all for watching my video. Come back. I've got one more tonight to do. And, uh... Good luck to all you ladies out there. Thank you, Philadelphia Cream Cheese. I'll see you in a bit.